welcome to java forum today we are going to see how to manually partition the virtual hard drive in ubuntu 16.04 server edition in virtual box 5.2 first i am going to create ubuntu 16.04 server edition virtual machine in virtual box 5.2 click the next button here i am going to allocate an hard virtual hard drive which is a dynamically allocated hard drive of size 160 gb make sure that you have enough space in your host operating system so now right click settings so i am enabling my clipboard so here i am allocating 16 gb memory sixteen gb ram to this virtual machine so on processor core i am going to allocate six core processor make sure that you have enough memory and core processor core to allocate now i am selecting ubuntu 16.04 server edition iso for dvd iso file as a installation media so ubuntu 16.04 server edition so this will be the installation media so now virtual machine is created successfully review the settings before you proceed the installation now i am going to start the virtual machine to install so here the installation will be in a text mode make sure that you are expert in handling tap tap key and space bar so now you can see the boot screen had arrived so select the install ubuntu server so installation will be in text mode make sure that you are expert in handling tab key space bar and up and down arrow for selection so here i am selecting india as my country and english as my language so select the continue so host name i am giving some name to my host after giving the host name select continue so here i am going to create the login user to this virtual machine after creating a user click continue so now the partition disk screen had arrived so here i'm going to select manual partitioning method as a manual so here you can see that uh, 171.8 gb of virtual hard drive v box hard disk so select that one so now select yes so this will create a partition table so here you can see some free space so select the free space so 
so now i am going to create one partition so first partition i'm going to create the root partition so this will be the primary partition so first i am allocating 22 gb to the uh, root mount point so this will be the primary so and this will be the beginning so this is the uh, settings of for this uh, root mount point so all the file system will be ext4 file system so now select the done so you can see the root mount point is created so remaining spaces are there so again select that free space and create one partition so upcoming partitions will be the logical partitions so here you can see slash home mount point is created So I am done with that. So again some free space is there. So select that free space. So this will be slash USR mount point. I am done. Okay, I am going to delete. So I am going to create another partition. So I am allocating 16 GB to this partition. So this partition will be slash USR. So slash USR partition will contains all the installation system installation files. So I am allocating 16 GB that partition. So next I am going to create another partition of size 10 GB. So this mount point name will be slash var. So slash var is a directory uh, or where all the log files and variable data will be stored. So again some free space is there. So again I'm creating another mount point. So this one will be a slash tmp. done setting up this partition so again some free space is there so I'm allocating 10 GB to slash USR slash local mount points so I am done done with that so again some free space is there so now I am going to So again some free space is there. So now I am going to allocate 25 GB space to the slash OPT mount point. Because slash OPT mount point I am going to install third party software so it will consume huge space. So 
again some free space is there so i am allocating 10 gb to slash srv mount point i am done with that so again some free space is there i am selecting that free space so i am going to create swap area with 26 gb space so in future i may use memory angry applications so i am creating the swap area with 26 gb so here i am selecting the swap area so i am done with that so swap area created successfully so again some free space is there so now i am going to create my own mount point so this mount point will be like a storage device for my third party binaries so i am giving my entering the manually entering manually the mount point name so mount point name will be slash software so i am allocating 22 gb to that uh, mount point so so mount point was created successfully so now i am allocating the rest of the space to another own my own mount point which is called as slash log files so I'm entering this manually so make a note that I am not created separate partition for uh, slash boot so slash boot mount point I have not created because the boot files will be automatically installed in slash uh, that is a root directory in a virtual machine so you no need to worry about that so virtual machine will be booting successfully so review the settings uh, before you proceed to install so now I select yes so that it will format the file system so all the mount point will be created also boot, uh, boot files required boot files will be installed in slash root directory If you are uh, installing the machine in a uh, bare metal, you need to configure a boot, which is very, very mandatory. So, this is a virtual machine. So, I have not allocated any space to slash boot. Make sure that you have enough space enough hard disk space, enough RAM, enough processor cores to allocate to this virtual machine. So this virtual machine can be used for uh, development, Java development, PHP development, Python development, etc. So at the end of this uh, tutorial, you, are, you can uh, create, can learn to create manually sorry you can uh, manually partition your virtual hard drive at the end of this video so now uh, installation is uh, going to complete it so once the installation is uh, completed so we will check each and every mount point whether it is allocated correctly So I am select. I am going to select uh, some of the softwares, so which is a uh, mandatory. So 
here I am selecting some of my softwares uh, which I required. So installation was uh, successful and you can see that uh, boot will be installed and uh, boot files will be installed in a uh, root directory. So now installation was successful. Ubuntu 16.04 server edition was uh, started successfully. So let me log into Ubuntu 16.04 server edition, server virtual machine. So this will be the command line. So I am logging in by supplying the username and password which I have created during the installation. So I have logged in successfully. Now I am going to verify. So df-k command. So this will list down all the mount points. So here you can verify each mount points allocated size and speed available spaces so here you can see slash opt slash log file slash var slash software slash home slash tmp slash usr slash usr local everything was allocated correctly so now i am going to Now I'm going to verify the memory and swap space. So free iPhone em is the command. So here you can see memory 16 GB and swap space about 25 GB is allocated correctly. So now uh, I'm giving a top command. So in top command you can see that uh, after giving a top command press the button 1 so if you press the button 1 it will give you the CPU cores listed CPU 0, CPU 1, CPU 2, CPU 3 so these are the processor cores so the manual partition was successful in Ubuntu 16.04 server edition subscribe our channel 